Hello everyone, it's Matthew here again, ready for my next segment of my birthday tribute to Mike LaRocco and Mikel Pichon. There we are. In order, in order to 250. If I appeared on the screen, I apologize. If I ever blocked any shots off dealing with some faulty picture. I'm going to do Supercross from Miami as Mike LaRocco. So first up is going to, first up is going to be Supercross. Then after that is going to be the motocross race. And in fact, uh, I should probably turn down the music volume. Ah, messed up the start. That's okay. Once again, playing as Mike LaRocco, Iron Mike LaRocco. Kind of tight course. Of course, Mike LaRocco, a winner of uh, 10 Supercross races. His last one was in Indianapolis in 2004. And I'll also check MX Unleashed to see if uh, LaRocco is featured in this one. Jumps a little bit too far. That's okay though. I'm gonna win the race anyway. I 
bumper cars right there. Carmichael came last. And I'll do my motocross race after I had quit. Okay, now I'm back ready for my motocross race, which is also going to be in this same video. I'm going to go to Redbud, where the famous LaRocco's Leap is. And of course, Redbud, I don't know if LaRocco has won at Redbud before. I believe he has. No, he actually did. He won in 1994 over Mike Kudrowski. And that was also the race where Kudrowski showed unsportsmanlike conduct and launched his his Kawasaki and a LaRocco, and they were teammates at the time, which was really surprising. Now, actually, uh, I take that back. Um, Mike Kudrowski actually won the overall. Ah! Son of a gun. That long straightaway is LaRocco's Leap. There I go by Wyndham. Wow, I gave Hughes a, a bad, a very physical bump, and Hughes is the one you don't even want to mess with out on the track. Uh-oh. Getting close to the end here. I'm nowhere near the nowhere near the front of the pack. Wow. Now I'm up to six. White flag will be coming up the next time around. I'm just going to restart. Got the whole shot. Of course, at the time, LaRocco was competing full-time motocross and supercross until 04. Just a minute. Skype call was ringing. Now I'm back to fourth. Whoa. This track is really tight. I 
course, LaRocco's last national win here was back in 1999 when he was on a Honda, the Factory Connection Honda. He went 1-2 on the day. And it looked like Carmichael crashed, and there I go by Lusk. Right there was the Supercross triple, the one that Red Bud is known for, but nothing like LaRocco's Leap. This is it. It's actually right about here where you land today. And you can easily see the how much that the track has changed through the years. In fact, I actually know every single winner here going back to 99. One twenty five and two fifty. Wow. Somebody behind me, I think that was Carmichael. Because Wyndham won here in ninety nine in the two fifties. One twenty fives it was Carmichael. Two thousand it was Tortelli. And Roncata took the one twenty five. Two thousand one it was RC O one two 07, it was RC. In the big class, 2001, it was Larry Ward who won the 125 race as a privateer with a 2 2 to Pastrana's. To Travis Pastrana's 1-4 moto finishes. Two thousand and two it was an O two and O three was James Stewart. And two thousand four was Mike Brown. Two thousand five it was Grant Langston. Two thousand and six it was uh, Hepler, I believe. Or actually, no, that was uh, Villapoto. And 07. Wow. Lust got it. Lust got into me and just about almost took me out. I hung on. That'll do for this segment. I'll see you guys for the next.